a dawn of possibilities in this region. Every new day brings hope and optimism about what the local people of Unyama and Koro in northern Uganda can achieve with just a little bit of help. The sound of milk getting into the container brings immense joy to the milking lady here in northern Uganda. An area that was once devastated by the insurgency for over two decades, the Acholi sub-region is bouncing back thanks to the efforts of development partners and the resilience of the local communities. In the two sub-counties, the Jainai Dairy Development Pilot Project being implemented by Haifa International with funding from Japan International Cooperation Foundation has sharpened the skills of local farmers in the livelihood projects and are now ready for takeoff. Anena Ochan Filda is grateful, most of all, for the training she attained to look after dairy cows that are also giving back on daily basis in the form of milk. In a region that is considered hot and arid, they have managed to keep cattle on zero grazing and the results are impressive. When she joined the project, she was able to get vegetable seeds and she was able to plant vegetables which help her in nutrition and income to support issues of school fees and other things. Then also through the project, she got chicken which helped her to, on nutrition and income. She's been getting some money from sales of eggs and even sales of the chicken. Filda is no longer worried of how to get school fees for her children or even just their nutritional and other domestic needs. <coughs> Auma Grace, a mother of six, has seen her life change because of the dairy cattle. She gets 10 liters every day. She's able to pay the loan and look after her children. <coughs> The most important benefit I got is the dairy cow, which I got through the project. The income from the milk, I'm using it to, to pay for the loan, but I'm also using some of the income to buy food items for the family and also to pay school fees for my children. La Ford Dairy is where they sell their milk. A farmer here earns over 200,000 shillings every month. In the families where a man is closely working with his wife, the results are even much better. Take the example of Kinyera Peter. They are in two vegetable growing and this too has proved to be a success because there's a ready market here in Koro. We are very cooperative. That is according to what we got from training. We work together. I can give you an example of uh, of accountability because before we were given that lesson we never know that we, we did not know that in a house when you are two you have to to say things or like I'm working when I get my salary I should bring and tell my wife that this is what we have got for the month and let's plan for it. What we are witnessing here is not an act of philanthropy, but rather self-driven and passionate farmers who have taken a loan from Microfinance Support Centre. The reason why we then shifted from our traditional giving off, giving off of the cow, uh, using the person, the gift, that we want to test the business model with an intention as much as possible to ensure that these farmers start looking at daily farming, smallholder daily farming, as uh, a sustainable enterprise. That way we required them to invest in something so that they can really manage it as a business. And in, in, to our surprise, I think that has succeeded. We are seeing uh, those rural women, uh, those rural youth, uh, those rural uh, men being able now to manage those daily cows who, which they got from a micro leasing scheme arrangement as enterprises. Their affordable credit business development services have been taken up by a trained and enthusiastic group of people, and because of that, the farmers are meeting their loan obligations. MSC, which is the microfinance support center, gives out money which is used to buy the dairy cows 
which is given to the farmer groups, who later begin milk the cow and pay the loan installment to the microfinance support center. We brought on board microfinance support center to be able to provide financing for the livestock leases for the farmers we work with. Uh, already microfinance support center is already seeing it as a, as a worth it to scale uh, approach and, and we're already in conversation to see how best we can as well scale it up to uh, other places. This pilot project has been running for two years. Farmers have increased on their milk yields, animals are healthy and they are paying back. Janai Dairy Development Project is uh, a partnership between Hefa International and uh, Japan International Corporation Foundation who are the donors for, uh, for that project. Uh, it's focusing on supporting 300 households in northern Uganda, especially in the sub-counties of uh, Unyama in Gulu district and, and Koro in Omoro district. Masayasi Higuchi is from the Japan International Cooperation Foundation. He says this kind of intervention, which is on a right trajectory, is their first pilot project in Africa. This is a pilot project uh, for Haifa, both Haifa and JICF. Then it's actually really first project for JICF to support in Africa. So somehow, more or less, farmers uh, could generate income to pay back the loan for the dairy cow. So I think we are more or less on the right track. The government initiative of Operation Wealth Creation, as well as the local government's projects, have a similar goal of fighting poverty. Our target is to cease poverty using those, those projects. It's a pilot project. We have the same intention with the, with the IFA International. They complement each other and are working in coordination. Arachi Betty is the Assistant Chief Administrative Officer for Omoro District. It is very necessary to scale up this project. As we can see from the neighbors, those who are already watching the way the project is being implemented, they have become interested. So once this approach is maintained, it will lift up our people from the dependency syndrome. And uh, there will be sustainability of the project, whether Haifa International is there or they are not there, the community will continue with the with the project. This approach of micro-leasing is working particularly because of the sense of ownership the beneficiaries have. Vicente Watu has seen the pilot project from inception. We have been able to achieve quite a lot as far as the plant activities are concerned. We had planned to place 50 cows uh, to the 50 beneficiaries, but currently we have placed 46 to the beneficiaries. and. Out of these, 28 have already come down and people have begun getting milk and also getting some services from the money that they get from the sale of milk. We are also been able to help them engage on vegetable growing and actively there are 45 farmers engaged in vegetable growing. And so far, there is some good earning of, from vegetable growing the average earning from a vegetable grower is 100,000. From the dairy farming, we have been able to, to realize so far a average milk uh, production of 10.3 liters from farmers and average income from each farmer uh, that has a dairy cow so far uh, out of the 28 is at 170,000 shillings per month which is towards where, what we had uh, planned or for a farmer to have around a minimum of 180,000 per month to be able to, to pay a loan, which according to now the, the, the loan uh, arrangement, a farmer is supposed to pay around 160,000 per month. They have also been taught on how to keep poultry. Farmers get day old chicks, which come in these boxes clearly marked on where they are distinct. The receiving farmers prepare the poultry house way in advance and they are supported with the initial chicken feed. So 
So I would want to thank our donors, uh, GICF, the Japan International Cooperation Foundation, for having provided financing or the funds uh, that enabled us to execute uh, that good idea. And also for believing in us because this is our first time of working with them. Uh, we think the idea is worth scaling up and you have also made us believe that uh, using business models is a much more better way of really uh, scaling up the impact. But also I want to thank the Microfinance Support Centre for having uh, believed in us and accepted to work with us, especially by providing financing uh, of the livestock leases. Uh, financing is a big challenge, especially for smallholder farmers. So if you get any partner who is willing to believe in you, especially uh, where farmers do not have corato, uh, that becomes a very strategic partner. So uh, Microfinance Support Center, thank you very much. Uh, for being part of this project. But I also want to thank uh, the farmers who have tremendously worked so hard to ensure that they change their situation. Uh, without them believing in the ideas that we sold to them, uh, possibly we would not have succeeded as a, a, a wider project. And the staff uh, including the extension workers who work within the field for the hard work uh, that went into uh, the initiative to make sure that the project succeeds. Uh, thank you very much and keep it up. That's what our country needs. For a community that is producing eggs, milk, vegetables and rice, it's highly unlikely that such a group of people will slide back into poverty because the skills they have acquired alongside their passion to work hard can only propel them to succeed.